Well, 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 hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike. First of all, I need to explain why I look like a garden gnome. I may have dyed some of my hair blue. And I have blonde highlights, so when you see the blue and the blonde together, it looks green. And I'm indeed sitting in front of the green screen. And I just know that there'd be something going wrong if I didn't just cover up the entire hair. It washes out, but I just thought I'd let you know. So previously, <laughs> Previously on Mike's Mic. Previously on Pretty Little Liars. Previously, a couple of months ago, I did a video called Judging Rich People Houses because my landlord is scamming me. And they were scamming me, and they're not scamming me anymore. Money moves, love, money moves. And I was going to do a video about influencer houses specifically, but then I thought that's kind of weird. How was supposed to be in the video? If someone made a video about my house, I'd be like, hmm, think, one, two, three, do the Nicki Minaj blink. Blank but then I thought, wait, why don't I just judge the houses that the influencers could buy before they've bought them, right? Cancellation free, no returns. So let's head on over to Zillow. Now I've opened this in an incognito tab because if you open anything property related, it'll cache that, right? Then every single ad's gonna be like a home in Malibu. Google Chrome, I was kidding. I'm not actually looking at homes in Malibu. Malibu. Next to you. Let's head on over to Los Angeles. What type of listing would you like to see? Rent? Psh, we don't rent. We buy cash, no loan. 7,000 houses, that's promising. First of all, let's just fix this here. We wanna go price high to low, of course. Ooh. Um. Hmm? Does that look right? That doesn't look right. 402 million? I mean, it's in my budget. 402 million, 532,000. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms. Bargain. Estimated payments are 1,758,000 per month. <laughs> when I saw this to start with, I thought, hmm, this kind of gives me Graceland vibes where Elvis lived. Oh my God, are you fucking insane? Which in my head was like, oh yeah, that makes sense that it's 400 million because it's Casa de Elvis, right? These producers are fucking idiots. But does that look like somewhere Elvis would live? No. So this has been on Zillow for 23 days. Duplex, two bedroom, one bathroom units per assessor records. Detached two car garage. Well, that explains the price tag. Structure is a major fixer with illegal additions. Me downloading the illegal expansion packs. The list price is the minimum acceptable bid price. Agents, please. This must be a joke, right? But then I'm looking at Mr. Simon and Simon looks legit. So honestly, in 2020, I'd believe anything. It has gas, but no cooling. <laughs> That is more of a $500 million property thing. Don't get ahead of yourself. Now, unless they somehow discovered that this house was on top of a diamond mine or something like that, this price change of 100,000% doesn't really make sense. Fantastic, only one photo. What more do you need? Honestly, book it. Next, we have this $69,900,000 lot. So it's a car park. It's a $69 million car park. I was gonna sing another song, but I'm not gonna do it. I really enjoy these pictures though, because not only is that first one just not high enough resolution, there's a little bit of chaos happening, right? The next one's like this, the next one's like this, then this, then this, then this, then this, then this. Eh, eh, sorry. My favorite picture is definitely this one. It's like, whoa, perspective shot, inception hallway scene, Joseph Gordon-Levitt turning over. Yana, I'm a freak bitch, handcuffs, leashes. This one here, 67,500,000. 12 bed, 25 bathrooms. That's two bathrooms per person, fantastic. This is giving me influencer house realness. I feel like I've seen this somewhere. Something about the three level white building is very hype house. I do, however, have a problem with this glass door situation because let's say hypothetically, someone came to my house and I wanted to appear that I wasn't home. The good thing about my current door is that no one can see through it, which you would think a door would do. But then this door here, they're gonna see me. They could camp out the front of my house and be like, I can see you. <laughs> this three TVs situation is giving me very much gym realness, right? You know when you're on the treadmill at the gym and there's three TVs, one's playing Wheel of Fortune, one's playing who wants to be a millionaire and the other one's playing news. Which one do you watch, right? Do you watch all of them or do you watch one of them? 
I do be wanting a bowling alley though. This one here is giving me video game, right? It's Chateau Casa del Villain, right? That's some multiple languages there for you. You need to be locked in prison for a very long time. There's really two situations that I can see this house being used. First one is in a video game. It's like level three, level four, and you have to go in, infiltrate the bad guy's house and get something out of it. Which now that I think about it, that's literally the Italian job. This is the start of the Italian job. Wait, oh my God, that kind of does look like the Italian job house. So you'd start bottom left and there'd be something in the far right corner and you have all these bodyguards and shit everywhere. Then like here, that's where you steal the Lamborghini. And this is where you drive the Lamborghini, maybe hit a couple of people. Then here, oh, I do like that garden. That is a nice garden. My mum would like this, mum, if you're watching this. Thoughts on this house? Not this house growing on me. Not me falling in love with this house. Oh, just the vibes are so good. Look, the decor just, it's not for me. When I got in there, I realized that actually this is serious stuff. Yeah. And I wasn't in the right headspace. Unfortunately, maybe we have to be a little bit more realistic. Let's go two to five million, just a little bit, a little bit spicy. What's this one here? Oh, it's on sale. Everybody, it's on sale, 4,650,000. It's down 300,000, which is actually quite a bit. Hello. I actually quite like this one. It's giving me Chateau de Skinny. You know what I mean? You are a danger to society. This doesn't really look real. Is this concept art? Oh my God, I hate when I'm like pranked with concept art. That's absolutely concept art. But it's nice though, right? I want that. This is officially 100% a joke. But if I was to break into this house, how would I do it? Wait, that's probably a good idea. How would I break into houses? Wait, actually, wait. No, no, no. I'll break into it first of all on that side staircase. Looks like nothing's guarding that side staircase. Honestly, let me run up those steps, Rocky style. Then I'm absolutely climbing the roof. You know that little veranda patio type deal. Climbing up, across, and then down onto that first level balcony. In the sliding door, easy. Someone please make it difficult for me, honestly. But if I become mega rich and end up buying this house, please pretend you did not see that. Well, that was fun, right? Right? Thanks so much for watching. One like equals one hope for my hair. Um, if you've got something to say, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. New podcast episode went up yesterday, so I will link that in the description. So go ahead and listen and watch. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out. Bye. It's Christmas. Let's go home to our new multi-trillion dollar house in the Beverly Hills. 910210210221. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.